Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make this. And you might wonder, what in the world is that? Well, you know, I'm hung up right now on belly bands. It is a belly band that is expandable, and it has a writing surface on it. Or you can lay it back down, tie it back up. Now, you can tie this with anything. You can tie it with string, you can put... A little velcro strap around it you can do a paper belly band on top of a belly band you can do lots of different ways I just had this little scrap laying here of uh, seam binding so I thought I would use that but it just expands out like that and then you might say well that's gonna be in your journal so how in the world are you gonna write on that and keep it from being so bumpy well we are gonna make a let's just pretend this is it we're gonna make a writing board to, that we just lay under there and it'll make it flat and then you can write on it. So we're going to make a writing board too. So I'm going to lay that aside and I just decorated it up with just some of the pieces that are in the that came in the AJ kit because I plan on using these in my AJ kit. Now I'll show you how this would let's just grab I think in all this mess over here I got a lot of mess right here because I'm working on like three different projects at once okay let's just say this is one of the AJ pages which it is and I would put it on just like that now I cut mine to the height of my AJ kit pages but you cut yours to the height of your pages of the journal that you're gonna put it in so I cut mine to the exact height so I would glue it here and here Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll put it on here. Um, wait, I don't want to glue it on this one. I'm going to glue it on one that has some color on there. This is one of the tea dyed paper, or not tea dyed. This is ink dyed paper. I don't know why I said tea dyed, because we don't tea dye, we ink dye. We don't coffee dye, we ink dye. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of glue right at the top and a little bit right at the bottom. And then I'm going to make sure I got it the right way. Yeah, I do. And then I'm just going to put it down right there, somewhere near the center. You don't have to be perfect. And then just make sure that you press it down nice and flat. Because if you put it down flat, then it's going to be tight enough that it's going to hold any kind of cards or anything you put under there. If you leave it a little bit raised and not put it down tight then it's not going to hold things all right so let's just grab let's grab that same card that we had just a minute ago and then you can just slide that under there like that so there is your belly band and it has an expandable little writing page that you can use sweet i love these so quick and easy too. They're absolutely quick and easy. So let's give a shot at another one. Now I'm using just some scrap paper that I had laying here at my desk. This is just some of that writing paper that I told you guys about. I'll link it below. I get it off of Amazon in a great big huge stack that lasts me for a while and I use a lot of it so you might if you don't want that much you might split it with somebody or just get it and stash it I mean it's not going to go bad it's paper and then what I do this one this is let's see how wide this is where is my ruler there it is okay this one is about one and seven eighths that was the width of this little piece so I didn't try to alter it any now I usually cut them about two inches that makes a good belly band and then you're able to put some good paper in there but this one will work so this is a one and seven eighths and then I cut another piece and I cut it shorter but I cut it the same width I just cut it shorter then we're going to round the corners now you know I like the rounded corners you don't have to do this you can leave them as they are I'm going to use my one quarter inch rounding edge here so that just puts just a tiny bit of round on them not much just enough to take that sharp point off okay and then I'm also going to do this on this one okay 
there we go so we have both of them rounded now i'm going to ink mine you can ink yours or not that's up to you or you could stitch around these too that would be really pretty i hadn't thought about that until just now i'll probably stitch around some not not this one maybe but i'll probably stitch around some of them and this is just some scrap paper that i've had in my drawer so anything that's the right height and the right width will work good way to use up your scraps too all right there i'm going to use yeah i'm going to use the front of this now this piece i made sure that i, I accordion folded it see it's accordion folded and i'll tell you how wide this is but it doesn't matter how wide yours is this one is eight inches eight inches this way and then what i did was i took it let me grab this and i made sure that i cut it down to where it would fit under here without showing so see it's right at the same height and then i made sure that I, when i accordion folded it that i folded it narrower just a little bit narrower than this that way you won't see it from the top side all right when you accordion fold you want to fold one that way up you know it's like i mean you know how to accordion fold i shouldn't even have to tell you this so accordion fold back and forth back and forth back and forth and when you get to this top one see i didn't have enough to go all the way over which is fine because when you get to this top one you want to turn back about a half an inch just like that see i've got about a half an inch there i'm gonna go ahead and put a little ink there so you can see it and then on this is where you're going to put your your glue and then you're going to put your glue right here on the bottom of this one now depending on which way you want it to accordion out would depend on which way you put your folds i like to for mine to go out this way but if i want to put it on a page let's say i wanted to put it on this side then I might not want it to go out this way because this is going to be my spine. So I would want it to go to pull out that way. So then I would turn it around and this little piece, the open part is going to go to my right. So see the open part would be to my right. And then when I pull this up, let me hold this, it would go this way. You see what I mean? So the open part will be to my right if I want it to pull left. And if I want it to pull right, the open part is going to be to my left and it will pull right. I hope that's making sense. Let's put this one down the opposite as we did the other one and I'll show you. So here's my little open. See this side is closed. This side is open. So I'm going to put my glue on here. Okay. then I just kind of center it I don't I don't measure it I just kind of look at it eyeball it doesn't have to be perfect but then I just kind of center it up on there and then press it down okay. so there we go with that and then this one let me make sure I got this the right way up yeah on here you're gonna put your glue right on that little half inch fold that you got there and then you're gonna lay this one down and I can't get up over it so I may get mine a little off but try to get up over it so you can lay it down and just make sure that your sides are even like that okay now when I put this on my page let's say I put it right here this will be the spine over here so it's going to pull out this way like that you could pull it this way if you wanted to but see it wouldn't go all the way out you see what i mean so depending on which way you want to pull it and i would just make a few going different ways that way you can put it on whatever page you want and still be able to use it in your journal just wherever you might want it okay now let's do a little bit of decorating this one i may just tie with a little string i'm not sure so let's do some embellishing on here 
and then we'll put a few more together now these are the little pieces that came in your AJ kit these are the um, stickers so I may use some of these just gonna give it a look see and see if I see anything on here that might go with this Hmm, this would go pretty with that wild bird or bird watcher. I don't know why I said wild bird. Wild bird. That, that would go cute on there. So let's try this. And see, until you tie it, it's going to try to flip out, which is fine. That's why I put a, a tie on there. Or like I said, just put another belly band on it. So you have a belly band on a belly band. That would be cute. I'm just going to put that right in the middle, somewhere near the middle like that and that blue goes with that blue background and then I think I'll put a little piece of this down here it's just a little vintage book page piece okay let's see yeah, I think I want to put that right there. Like that. And then I want to bring in just a little number or word or something like that right here. So, I think I'll just look in here first and see if I've got a little label that I can use. Oh, that might be cute. Is that is that too big or too off? Hmm. Let's see if we have anything else. These are some little labels that I got from AliExpress. And I do have more of these ordered. I know I keep telling you that. I have lots and lots of things from Ali that will go up tomorrow. I've got them ready. I've got photos of them, everything. So they'll go live tomorrow. So watch the site for that. These are cute because they come in a little tin. Um, I may just use that one. I may just trim it down a little bit. Let's trim some of the excess white off of there. And then I think it'll work. Now we'll put a little ink on there. And then we'll put that down right there. Oh yeah, that works fine like that. And I'm just going to lay my scissors there to hold that down. And I'm not going to put it in the center or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of put it down just so that that book page will show in the background. And let's see, do we want anything else on there? I don't think so. I think that's enough. So now let's get a little string or something to tie it with. Do we want to tie it with a string or maybe a piece of seam binding? Let's see what we have. You know, I have some of this seam binding that I haven't been able to use. Would that be too bright? Hmm. They've got a little bit of orange back there. Let's just try it. What the heck? Um, if we can find an end. There's never an end to these. Ha. <laughs> um, huh. Nope, that's not it. You know what? When you can't find an end, just cut you an end. The way I look at it. I'll use it anyway, so what difference does it make? Okay, now I'm just going to put it around and make sure that I've got the back straight. And I may not have cut me enough. Ooh. Okay, I didn't cut enough for a bow, but I did cut enough for just a little double knot. And that's what we'll do here. We can get that, still get that open easy. And I'm, because I'm just tying it very, very loosely. 
and I want to bring it down just a little bit so my bird can be seen. Then I'll cut these ends off a little bit of an angle. They're so curly it really doesn't matter but we'll just do a little bit of cutting on. That's already at an angle. Okay, So that is that one. That's how quick and easy they are and they're so cute in your journals. So let me lay that one aside. And that that may be a little that tie may be a little bit bright for that, but I kind of like it. So we'll put that one aside. Okay, then I have some more pieces here that we'll make more out of. Now this is some dyed paper that one of you guys sent me and I just again I accordion folded it not a big not a big mystery there you guys know how to do that so then I have a piece that's cut the size or the height that I need see and this one is two inches because I actually cut this one so I know it's two but you can use your scraps you can even make them narrower than this if you want it just makes it a little bit more difficult to fold your paper or it does for me because my hands are so big but you can you can do it you can do it now we're gonna cut this piece this is just a little scrap that I had so we're gonna cut this piece probably about let's see I might need to measure this yeah we'll cut it about right there and that will give us enough excess on that one. Hopefully I cut that straight. Straight-ish. Um, yeah, it looks straight-ish. Okay, again I'm rounding it with my corner rounder and it's the quarter inch. The half inch looks a little bit too rounded so I just use the quarter inch. And I go ahead and ink. See, I love that paper. That's so pretty. And this is some paper that this doesn't even match that, but it looks good together once you put everything down. This is some of the paper out of that Vintage Diary collection. So let's put, now this one, I'm going to put it to pull to the right. So see, I'm going to put this open part to the left, so that will make it pull this way, out this way. Okay? And you can see I put my little fold half inch fold at the top so that now you can ink your paper too I did ink one of mine I didn't ink the other one I don't think but let's go ahead and ink this I like it inked it makes it look a little bit more vintage and aged and that just I like that look but you don't have to do that not a requirement but I like to fold all these little folds and just ink down them a little bit Now we're going to put our glue right here on the back. And let me make sure that I got it. I got my open part of my raw edge here going to the left. And then I'm just going to kind of sort of lay it down in the center. And you can see my folds are not absolutely perfect, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. And the more you burnish those folds down, the easier this is going to be to lay down on there. The other one I didn't burnish too much, but it will lay down easier and flatter. But if you're going to put a tie around it anyway, that doesn't matter either. All right, let's see, I think that's the right way up. See how flat that one lays down? It doesn't keep popping up like the other one, but I because I burnished it. 
All right. Now, this one's not going to need very much of an embellishment at all. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. So I may just put a little label on it up here and that let that be it. So let's see if I have a label in here. If not, I'll go to my other labels. Well, that's not the right color. Okay, what I think I want is just a word label. So I'm going to grab these. You can see they still are not cut out. One day I'll get them cut out. I've got all this stuff piled on top of them that I need to move oh, and drop it in the floor. Okay, so what label do we want to put on here? I'm thinking one of these green ones, but I think they will be too long. So we may have to resort to something different. Let's just flip through and we'll look and see what we can come up with. Hmm. Oh, that one might be cute. Or even that one. I think this one though I like better. So let's go ahead and cut that out. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that just fine. Nothing else needed don't want to cover up that beautiful paper but you could also do let me put this down and I'll show you something else that we could do these are endless possibilities look at that that doesn't look straight okay uh, let me grab let's see where is it Grab a little piece of vellum. No, I think that vellum's going to cover up too much, so I don't want that one. That one's got a little bit too much writing on there. We may just use a clear piece of vellum. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of this. I would use some that I already have cut, but I've already used all that up. So I'm going to cut it right there. Okay, then we're going to put a little piece of vellum down here at the bottom since I don't want to cover those flowers up. And let's see if I can round the corners without putting any paper in there. Hopefully I can. Oh yeah. This is a thicker vellum that uh, we have in the store. So it rounds really well with your corner rounder. All right. So we'll put that down right there. I did cut a little notch in the top of it. <laughs> so we're going to see. Now I'm saying I don't want to cover up those flowers. But we may insert a little tag down in here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put it down as a tag or as a little pocket and we'll see if we might want to put a little tag down in there. Might just put a tag down in there that's the same paper. Okay, I'm using my Barely Arts. That reminds me i got to order more Barely Arts. I'm almost out. Uh, barely Arts to put the vellum down because it doesn't leave your paper warped doesn't leave any puckering on there like the art glitter glue does. All you have to do is just press it down well. All right, so there is a little pocket. Now we could, there's lots of different things I could do. What do I want to do? We could use this piece and just cut a tiny little tag out of that. That still has some of that pretty color on it because it's the opposite side of that. And we can cut just a small little tag to put in there. And then when you pull it out, you still got all of this floral in the background. That's pretty. I don't mind that. So I'm going to mark it pretty narrow. I don't want to. I don't want to have it too big to where it won't slide down in there easy. 
you know, we made some belly band uh, pockets, belly bands with pockets the other day. With vellum pockets. The good thing about vellum pockets is you're not covering up anything that you don't want to lose. So I don't want to lose this background. So I'm covering it when my po when my tag is in there, but when my tag is out, it's fine. I don't have to worry about it being covered up. And I've still got some really pretty pieces up in there anyway. And I didn't cut that straight, did I? There we go. That'll work. Okay. Let's make sure this slide's down in there easy first. All right, now I want to back this with something that we can write on. So what do we, what do we suggest? See what I have right here so I don't have to get up and go look. Um, I have that little piece, but that's too dark. I don't want that dark. Oh, I know exactly what I have. I have a, some little scraps of this, and that's going to be the exact size that we need right there. Yeah, so we'll glue that down. See, I, I think I'd rather have that side up, truthfully. Yeah, let's just do that. I like that side much better. And then we're still putting our flowers down in there, but we have another tag. Or we're still keeping our flowers on the front showing, but we've got another tag. Another little journaling spot. A little hidden one, I guess you could call it. Okay, now to make this slide in and out of here a lot easier, I'm going to round the bottom corners. And it's best to wait till your glue dries to do the rounding. But you know me, I'm impatient and I'm always in a hurry, so. All right, that'll work. Now we can put a little piece of. Okay, there's our little tag in there, and then we could put a little piece of ribbon or lace or something at the top. Hmm. But I think I'm going to leave mine just like that for now because when we tie our little ribbon or whatever around here, it's going to cover that up anyway. So let's, I want to put a little vellum flower on here, I think. And I've got these. I'm not sure there's one in here that's going to work, but we'll look. No, 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 no. Don't th that's a different color. Okay, I could just use a little part of one. Or, wait a minute, I think this is it right here. These are some that I just got in that I haven't put in my little um, ephemera book yet. And we haven't got them in the store yet. Yeah, that one's going to work. It's not going to cover up too much, but it's going to look fine, I think. Okay. Now, I may need to trim off the bottom of this. I don't know how far I want to go up with it. Let's try. Right there, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to trim just the tiny little bottom. So, that, let's see. Do I want to trim it? Yeah, just that little bit right there. There we go. Ok, 
Okay. So there is that on there. Our little tag in here. Now we just need a tie around it. Now we could use just a string. I have this little piece of... <laughs> I've got little scraps laying here. I've got this little scrap piece of string. Could use that. See what it looks like. Hmm. I don't mind that. It doesn't cover a lot up. And I think that'll work. What do you think? Think it'll work? Yeah, let's leave that one. Okay, I am going to put a little glue on the back to hold it down. Just because I don't want, when that comes, when we um, untie this to open it up, I don't want the string to come off. And I want the string to be glued down so it doesn't hinder anything that you tuck under the belly band. So let's do that. Pull that one a little bit. There we go. That'll work right there. So there is another. You see how quick and easy they are to make. We're going to make probably one or two more, maybe. Alright, I like this background. And again, I love this paper and that, to me that looks good with that. Uh, I don't think either one of those is wide enough though. That's the problem. No, that one's not really going to be wide enough, I don't think. Let's see if it'll cover this. If it covers the paper, we can put it down and let it be a little narrow. Yeah, it covers the paper. So let's let this one just be a little narrow. That'll work. And this little, this paper's a little bit short too, so that'll work. Oh yeah, see I like that together. This is some of the paper that came in the AJ kit. Oh, and Melina is going to be doing her video with Erin. Um, she wanted me to do it again and I said, I did it last time and I really think it would be good for you and Erin to do it this time. So watch for her video because she and Erin will be doing the video on the AJ kit on what she's going to put together. Now what she puts together and what I put together may be two completely different things, but I've got to do my pages here in a little bit and I'll get that up. You know, we did the front cover last week. We're going to do the pages this week and the, let's see. What else am I going to do? I'm probably going to do the little closure. And I don't know. We might complete it this week. Who knows? I've got to come up with my floating spine. So I've got an idea for that. So who knows? We might just finish it up. Oh, and if you didn't watch Melina's video yesterday on her channel where she did the folio, you need to go watch it. I'm telling you. That was a very pretty folio. She brought it over and I saw it in person. It's very, very pretty. I told her she needs to sell that one to you guys because a lot of you would probably want that one. All right, I have my ink around there. Now we're going to go ahead and glue this piece down. This is just the other part of that paper that we put under before, under the other one. So this is just another part of that. I got two out of one sheet, eight and a half by 11. And I'm just gonna kind of center that up as best I can. That'll work right there. Press it down nice and firm. And then this piece, we're gonna glue right on that. So that's that little half inch fold over. Just gonna put that down through there. 
find my upside on this. And on this one, since it's not as wide, you need to match it up to the paper. So don't try to match your edges here. Just make sure that it covers your paper from top to bottom. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then it just folds out like that. Oh, don't let me forget, we've got to do the writing board. I'll show you how to do the writing board. Now on this one, I think all I'm going to do is put a label. I think, I think, I think. And I may put something right here. I'm not sure. You know what? I like this trim right here. And I think it would go well with that. So I'm going to lay that across right there. Trim it off. This again is from the AJ kit, this piece, but you could use anything on here. You don't have to use this. Decorate it up and make it be yours. I think that's cute. It's the same color as these flowers, so, and it's a little floral band, so that works. Oops. Now let's glue that back down there. There we go. And what shall we put on here? We could do, oh, this one might be pretty on there. What do you think? Nope, it's too long. And a little bit too matchy-matchy. So we may just have to go to one of our other labels. I don't want it to be too matchy. Yeah, the rest of those are a little bit too big. So let's just grab a label. Okay, I think I'm going to go with one of Betty's labels. Now this will be way too long if I use it the length that she has it made in. So I'm just going to trim it off. Then we can put that. Oh, I don't want to cover up my butterfly, so I think I'll put it down here at the bottom. Okay. Make sure that I get that halfway straight. That'll work. Now I also have, and I'm going to look at these, I don't know if they will work on here. I don't have a clue if it's going to, what it would look like. so I think that's all I'll put it on there and then I'll just tie a little ribbon now I need a yellow ribbon is what I need but I don't think I have any yellow nope no yellow not in here um let's see I need more seam binding <laughs> I can use that that's pretty we always need more seam binding don't we and I've got plenty here. I just, I don't want to use it. <laughs> you know, some of it we keep in the store to sell to you guys. And I try not to use that. But, and this was gifted to me. Alright, I think I got a long enough piece that time. I was afraid I'd cut it too short. So I think I just cut it too long but we're going to use it anyway it's okay if it's a little bit long now I like that I am going to cut this one off a little bit and I can use that on top of a tag so it will not go to waste and I'm going to make these a little bit smaller I think yeah that works better I think Okay, then I'm going to glue the back, and I just put a little glue up under there, and straighten it up, and then I just press it down, and it'll hold. Okay, so there we go. There is another. All right, aren't they cute? I think they are. I mean, I don't, you know, somebody else may have done these already. I have no clue, but it just kind of, it's one of those things that come to me in the middle of the night. So that's what we did. So there's the ones that we have done, and then this one I've got already put it down to a page, so that just shows you how that works. Okay, we're going to make a writing board, and what I'm going to use 
is an old card. This card was, I don't know, given to us a long time ago. And I save any card that has, I save a lot of cards, but I especially save the ones that have the beautiful flowers on them because you can always cut those out and use them. I never throw those away. Now, of course, we don't want it to say Easter. So we're going to cut that off. Put that down in there. And then I'm going to trim it down. I don't want it quite this big. So I'm going to trim it down on the sides. Okay, let's make sure that I've got it pretty well straight because I want it to be even as possible. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let me make sure. I like for my writing boards to be nice and square, so yes, it's the same size. Now, what you can do, see I don't, I can cover this back if I want. Uh, and I probably will because it says something about Easter. This I won't cover at all because I think it goes well with this. But if you don't have a card that matches what you're working on, just cover it. Just cut out something like this and cover it. Now this is not going to be quite thick enough. So we're going to cover the back with a little piece of chipboard. Okay, now I have some chipboard that is off of the back of a paper pad. So what I'm going to do is cover this with the chipboard, um, or cover the back with the chipboard. That's going to make it nice and sturdy for you to write on. But I want to cover my chipboard because I don't want you to flip it over and see the chipboard on the back. So what I'm going to do is grab some paper. Let's see if I have any of this paper. Oh yeah, I have some that's big enough. And we're not, you're not going to want to write on your writing board, so you can cover it with whatever you have. And I think I'm going to cover mine with this. So what I'm going to do is lay my card down here. Now this is the way I make a writing board. I know there's a thousand different ways. But this is going to work for me, and it's going to be the size that will go in my journal. You need to make sure of that. I do think I'm going to cut the rest of that right there off, though. A little bit of that white at the top so i'm going to cut that off do need to make sure that it fits in your journal and that it'll fit in a pocket because you need to keep it in the front of your journal in a pocket okay so we're going to cut that there and that down through there so i'm just going to grab my trimmer this is a rotary trimmer so it cuts chipboard pretty well and Okay, that is the backing, and then I always like to go back and check. Make sure that it's not going to be oversized, and it's not. Then I want to cover it with this. So I'm just going to lay it down. Now this chipboard is thin enough that I, I don't have to wrap it, but if you have a thick piece of chipboard, you might want to wrap the edges over just so that your chipboard doesn't show from the front. This one I don't think will. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just put a little ink on it if I see any chipboard. But if you have some thick chipboard, just go ahead and wrap the edges. Or if you have some that, you know, if you put some cereal boxes together. Did you see me just glue that to my table? It just jumped right on my hand. Okay, got that. Then we're just going to trim this off. Nice and flush. Right. 
Yeah, that works for that. And then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna glue our card right down there. Oh, wrong, I almost glued it the wrong way, didn't I? Make sure you put it down the right way. That always works. Now I put a good amount of glue on the edges because you don't want your edges coming up on your writing board. And you can also stitch it as well. Stitch around the edges. I do. I usually do on some of mine. I stitch real close to the edge. But you don't want to stitch too much into your writing board because then you have a problem writing on it without getting the bumps of your stitching. So if you're going to stitch, just stitch right at the edge. Right. Let's find our bone folder. Press this down. So there's my writing board. Now you can also round the corners of this. And since right now I am liking the rounded corners, I'm going to round it just at the quarter inch, not any bigger. Okay. That makes a nice looking writing board. And then I'll just go around it with a little bit of ink. And that way if I do have any of that chipboard showing, it covers it. That's beautiful, isn't it? So you could use either side. And it looks good in your journal. So there is my writing board. And what I would do is when I untie this, I'll just go ahead and do it. When I untie this and pull that out to write on, I would just make sure that my writing board was under there. And then you can write and have a nice flat surface. It's nice and flat. Okay. All right, guys, that, I think, is it. There are our expandable, what are we going to call these? Uh, expandable belly band, writing board, I don't know. But there are our belly bands and our writing board, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new videos. We've got lots of new things coming for July. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. We've got another July challenge. We're nearing 70,000 subscribers. So when we get to 70,000 subscribers, we're going to have a huge giveaway. Not going to tell you what it is. It's just going to be big. And we will be um, purchasing the items and shipping them straight to you from Amazon. So make sure that you are a subscriber because only subscribers can enter. In the newsletter, watch for the newsletter coming out tomorrow. Uh, we will give more information on the how, how to enter and that kind of thing for the giveaway. And if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you can go over to our website. That's directly below where it says store. Just go over to the store. It'll, you'll have a pop-up there. Just fill in that pop-up and you'll be subscribed. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.